Hi, welcome to Wrenching Up, where we tackle the projects and procedures that you, our customers, ask us to do. Hey, it's Craig Van Battenberg. Hello. Hey, Craig. How you, how you doing? Hey, good. Good. good to see you. Good to see you. Wow, how you been? Hey, Jim, good to see you. And Dan yes, from Medtronics. Good to see you. All right. Greg Van Battenberg from Automotive Careers Development Center. Wow, thanks for coming by and bringing your Volt. Your we this were just going to talk about um, uh, lithium ion batteries. It's yeah. great timing. Oh, good. Excellent. Um, okay, so you guys know each other? Why don't yeah. you go get caught we do. up or something like that? Okay, and I'll shut the system down. Can I give you one tip before you shut it down? So, yeah. when you're shutting this car down, okay, before you pull that orange plug out, either disconnect the 12 volt battery, or if you don't want to disconnect the 12 volt battery, Take some cardboard and put it around that little blue square power button used to start the car so you don't accidentally push the button in. Mm. Because maybe two years ago we bought this, one of the classes, we had that orange plug out. One of the students pushed the button by mistake, the car wouldn't start. I had to get a factory scan tool, get the instructions from GM to go in and clear a couple of codes that prevented the two computers that run the big battery from being on the CAN bus. What wow. a mess. The shutdown procedure for the Chevy Volt is to pick up the armrest in between the two front seats and remove the inner liner and move the little bag off of the master disconnect. Then, with your glove on, we'll press the release tab and remove the master disconnect. Be sure to wait about five minutes to give the capacitors in the inverter time to discharge before you do any further diagnostics or repair.